Marquise, your uh, coach Drew keeps talking about how impressed he is with your three point shooting. Mm -hmm. Have you, is there something you've really been working on to um, um, that's helped? No, I mean, it's just confidence. Uh, something I've been working on since before I got drafted was just shooting. Uh, Obviously, I can I can jump, I can play defense. So um, it's just something that I wanted to add to my game, and I've uh, just been working on it for the past couple of years. And being here, <coughs> excuse me, being here, he just gave me the confidence to shoot, and just let me be me. And I think that uh, it's helping the ball going. Did you have like over the last couple of years? Did you have somebody in the league who was helping you, or in terms of what? Like a you know. I don't know, like Kyle Corver used to do that for these guys. I didn't know if you had a like just shooting or yeah, like. Or, yeah. Um, I mean, my rookie year, it was uh, Jared Dudley. That was probably the main person. Uh, you know, he, he's a he's a great shooter and he, he's good at what he does. Um, and he he's made a living out of it for a long time. So that's somebody that I listen to and just learn some things from. When when you came, Larry Nance Jr. was saying how. <coughs> He would might take you under his wing, kind of. I mean, you know, help you like yeah. work out, buddy, or whatever. You, yeah. I mean, has he done that? No, yeah, that's my dog. Um, <laughs> we spend a lot of time talking. We play video games together, stuff like that. Um, you know, I think uh, he, he welcomed me with somebody who who I had already previously had conversations with. So I think it made it easier to to transition into coming with this team. I felt a little more comfortable, and um, you know, I appreciate it. Were you talking to him just after game? Or? No, I mean, I would just talk to him every now and then. Uh, his dad played in Phoenix, so uh, there was an auction for his dad's jersey, and I had messaged him about it, saying if he wanted me to get it for him. And then, uh, you know, we just kept talking about that, and then um, he was friends with one of my teammates, and then I, I had a couple conversations with him. Did you get the jersey for him? No, nah, he told me that he didn't need it. He already <laughs> had one. <laughs> and what do you experience both starting as well as coming off the bench for the mm -hmm. team as I mean, he's a great point guard. Uh, you know, he's really good at what he does. He facilitates really well. Um, you know, when you're out there with him, it's never really a question of what you're supposed to do because he's talking to you, you through everything. Um, I think for me, it made it a little easier. You know, uh, really don't have to remember a lot of plays because he kind of just tells you everything to do when, once you're going through it. So. That's one of the things that uh, I think helped me. Um, you know, I think for, for the young players, he just shows how, how to run the offense, I think, really well. And he, he facilitates the ball and passes it and gets everybody involved. And then as far as that second unit with J.C., even Larry Nance Jr., Jordan Clarkson, that power punch, what does that feel like to you guys on I mean, I think it's fun to watch. I think when, when our bench is out there, it's entertaining. I think we try to keep the, the momentum and the energy of the game going. You know, when the starters come out, let them get a little bit of rest and then let them go back to doing what they do. This was a good offer, opportunity for you to show what you can do. How do you feel like it's turning out? Um, I think I, I start off really well. Uh, I think obviously last game I didn't play as well as I wanted to. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to be consistent, uh, show what I'm capable of doing. You know, at the end of the day, I know what, what I am able to do. And, you know, just trying to do it night in and night out. Do you feel like just this is kind of the tip of the iceberg as far as you know, you've got a lot of athleticism mm -hmm. that you haven't maybe made your mm -hmm. mark with it yet? Do you feel like you've got a lot to still show? Yeah, for sure. I mm -hmm. think um, the position I'm in, I have a lot to prove. Uh, you know, a lot of people, they don't they don't really know exactly what I can and can't do. So, you know, I think there's opportunity for me to just show people. How hungry is this team? Given, I mean, obviously, you have something to prove, mm -hmm. Brandon. Uh, coming back from injury, mm -hmm. how hungry are you guys? No, I think we're extremely hungry. I think everybody on this team has something that, like, like I said, we have to prove something. Um, you know, not only to other people, but to ourselves. You know, we're trying to continue to grow and develop each other. Um, you know, and we're still trying to win games. You know, we're trying to compete and we're trying to make games fun and, and entertaining to watch. So, um, I think for the most part, I think everybody on this team is hungry. As much as you've moved around, do you almost long for the day when that stops? <laughs> I mean, it's part of the business. Uh, you know, that's what I signed up for. Um, you want to be where you're wanted, and um, I feel wanted here, and I, I'm glad I'm here right now. Um, you know, and, and things happen. So I, I, I'm grateful for the opportunities that I had on my other teams. You know, they taught me things that I would never think I would experience, and, you know, I'm trying to bring it to this team.